Uh, I'm Jonathan Lewin. I'm the Chief of the Bureau of Technical Services for the Chicago Police Department. So I oversee all uh, technology-related uh, programs and systems for the department. Communications is really key to everything we do, uh, keeping our officers safe, keeping the public safe, exchanging information both with people and with assets, connected things like surveillance cameras. Uh, we have 8,000 plus body-worn cameras. Right now they have to be physically docked at the end of an officer's tour of duty. There's just so much video. Uh, I think we are up to over one petabyte of overall video content. Uh, we have a thousand in-car cameras. Right now the cars have to pull into a wireless hotspot to upload video at the end of the tour or when they come into the station during the tour. Uh, 35,000 surveillance cameras, uh, tablets, smartphones, in-car computers, GPS on the cars. Um, all of these things need to be connected uh, in the fastest way possible with the most bandwidth and the most resiliency possible. Uh, I think you know managing the data, um, we get a lot of uh, what's called Freedom of Information Act requests, FOIA requests for video, subpoenas for video. The first thing that happens in a case now is uh, people ask for video. So just managing those requests, uh, redacting, um, reviewing, and then providing using a, you know, a secure website. Right now we're using evidence.com. There's a couple others that we're also uh, looking at and potentially going to use in the future. So managing all that digital content, uh, developing insights from the video. So again, 35,000 surveillance cameras, but we don't have 35,000 people watching them. So using analytics, not for facial recognition, not to violate people's privacy, but to look for things that might be an indicator of a crime, activity outside the baseline that can then alert so somebody can look at that camera. Well, we're hoping that it'll give us the, the capacity that we need and that it will give us uh, access to the network uh, when we need it on demand uh, and with, you know, ideally, uh, unlimited data. So hopefully with 5G and network slicing, we'll be able to better uh, transmit and receive a lot of content. I think it'll, it'll be always a combination. Uh, for one reason, you get more uh, you know, guaranteed continuity. If one thing went down, you'd still have something else. Right now we have both Verizon and AT&T FirstNet, and we have uh, a city-owned uh, radio network. Um, so I think you'll see uh, some combination of things in the future. Mm -hmm.